August 21st, 1996. His name is Cecil Stevens. Yeah, that's him. He likes basketball, Ninja Turtles, creepy crawlers, and this whole thing is kind of about him. I mean, if you don't count the real star. Tim, it's gross. It's unhygienic, not to mention I stepped on one the other day. I had to dig it out of my heel with tweezers. Lori, maybe if you spent less time worrying about my toenails and more time... Are you standing there with the refrigerator door open? Am I the only one here that cares about the electricity bill? They're, um, how, how do I put this? Crazy. Did you put a toenail in me? How does that feel, baby? Oh. The toenails and the food? That's too far. <laughs> Bill. Oh, very mature, Lori. Very mature. I think it's time Cecil and I go stay with Grandma Peggy for a while. What? But Cecil starts school in like two days. I'm transferring him over. So, you know how when bad things happen, people say, you never know, this may be the best thing that ever happened to you? Yeah, yeah, this isn't one of those times. two already met. Hey, Grandma! Oh, for Pete's sake! Oh, You have become a giant, Cecil. A giant wet swamp monster! Hey, Mom. Thank you for letting us stay. Don't ask. Hi there. Name's Abby. The neighborhood rug rat and my partner in crime. Okay. Hello there, Abby. And Cecil, I'm very, I'm very proud of you. Or what? Think she's got a severe case of the grown-ups. <laughs> <laughs> well, I was just leaving. Nice to meet you, Cecil. Bye. I saw you checking her out. What? No. <laughs> mm -mm. I saw you, Cecil. 7 p.m. Quiet. The mother of Rory looks disheveled. Could be suffering from constipation. <laughs> ah! It's in my eye! Oh crap! Just kidding. You land fast, Chris of Oh gosh. It's George. George. Fifth graders. Still riding the bus glasses. What do you want, George? Can't we just have a small talk? Who's the new guy? I'm Cecil Stevens. <laughs> what? Cecil Stevens? <laughs> I, I have bad hearing. Say it again in my good ear. Cecil. This is Cecil Stevens? <laughs> Weeple weepins. Tom, stupid fish. Charlie, that doesn't work. Learn. Why don't you shut it? 
Whoa, whoa, not only are these my brand new school clothes, but tearing apart that bush is bad for the environment. Not to mention the property value. Charlie, let's just get out of here. Later, glasses. Later, purple shirt on a bike. If that run-in with George of the Jungle and his gorillas is any indication, you need to work on your coolness factor. It's a kitty kid world out there. Never sit in the front of the bus. Why? Well, the further up you sit, the less popular you are. The further back you sit, the cooler you are. I sit all the way in row 13. You see that kid? That's Chandler. He sat in the middle of the bus until one day, Zach shot a spit wad in his ear. He couldn't hear for a week. The bell would ring, and he would just sit there. Everyone thought it was hilarious. <laughs> Now he sits in the front. Dang, who's that? Oh, I think his dad's a professional boxer or something. Hey, he looks familiar. Hey, what's your name? Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm having a good day. Okay, good for you. Listen, Cecil, if you want to survive the fourth grade, you can't say your name. Until when? Forever. So, you get to go to your locker once a day, unless you run full speed there and back. Do not get caught in the hall without a hall pass, unless it's Mr. Finnegan. He'll let it slide, unless it's Fridays. He has to pick up his kids on Fridays, and uh, sometimes you get to boot up tight. Oh, if you're late to school, it's not kind of as tardy if you talk to Miss Lewis and Admin. Throw in a call with your excuse. She'll let it slide every time. Her kid has asthma. I gotta go. I gotta go. Oh, never eat the brownie surprise. Why? I like brownies. Uh oh. You'll poop your pants in 10 seconds flat. Trust me, they started serving it late last year, and the food's never been the same since. The bathrooms either. So, how do you know all this? I am the head writer of the school newspaper. It's my job to know it all. I'm, I'm in Wasabi. Big news, I can't believe. Changes, budgets. You're on record. They're making budget cuts. Cross country, math club, debate team, even our mascot, Little Hercules, everything is gone. Newspaper? Is the newspaper gone? Not yet. So what's wrong? This paper, it's our livelihood. Have you been living under a rock or something? In the wake of drastic budget cuts, only the cornerstone of journalism can survive. But the question is, for how long? So, who are you? A boy man guy? He's new and he demands his privacy, Martha. Let's go. Listen, Cecil, this is the story of the year. I mean, even the mascot? And the question is why? It couldn't even have saved that much. Just to imagine little Hercules cast off at the pound. Hey, new kid. I'm Joel, what's up? Hey there, I'm Leave me alone! Cecil! Okay. If anyone asks who you are, you say, um... <gasps> say it with a British accent. It'll mask the list. Okay. Hello there, I'm Cecil C. No, 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 no. Uh, new plan. Don't say anything. Perfect. Attention, boys and girls. Welcome to the fourth grade. My class has been chosen to use a brand new learning plan based on the hit TV show, The Magic Boxcar! You'll be able to let your imaginations go wild down through the jungles of Africa. <laughs> All the way up to the bioluminescent bays of Puerto Rico! Yes, he did.
Oh, you know. Field trip. Rocking on the bus car, busy biz is on the way. <laughs> Learning on the bus car, yeah, make school okay. Don't drive in there. Blast into the moon, blast into the sun. Educational TV is totally fun. The magic box car. Miss Busy Biz, slow down, please. Magic box car. No, stop. Magic box car. Have you been drinking? No way. Magic box car. Yo, kid, grab your friend and get on board. You know, from the office, something's up. In my line of work, you gotta be proactive. Oh, well, well, well. You must be Abby. Oh, I've heard about you. It looks like we have a young go-getter on our hands. Girl power. Oh, it's a hall pass for, um, you and Cleo. Apparently, you have speech class? Remember. Rabbit. W rabbit. No. Ra. Ra. Rabbit. Rabbit. Good. Here. Have a treat. Cecil Stevens, are you ready? Okay, Cecil, you're going to have to talk if we're going to learn to speak properly. Sasquatch. 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 Sasquatch! Oh! We've got a runner! Get into the office. Get in the office! Principal Blue! I see you found our mute. Mute? Well, let's keep it that way. Oh, I don't think so. Come on, young man. Are you trying to get yourself expelled? What did I tell you? Lay low. And did I say lay low and look in the principal store? Maybe we can use this whole mute thing to our advantage. My next newspaper article is called If You Could Be Anyone. So? So, if you could be anyone, who would you be? Uh, Ninja Turtle. Or a... Power Ranger. I was kind of thinking someone who didn't talk. Like the Pink Panther. Do-do, <gasps> do-do, 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 do-do. Basketball tryouts, let's go. I don't know. I think I like the Ninja Turtles. I'll see you after practice. Here? Peggy's picking me up, too. I have the newspaper club. Cool. I love that newspaper. Thanks. Gentlemen, this is it, the day of reckoning. This is where we separate the men from the boys. The Larry Birds from the Harry Nerds, the Dennis Rodmans from the Blemish Problems, the Kareem Abdul-Jabbars from the, well, you get the picture. One or two of you punks might play college ball, none of you will play in the National Basketball League. But if you want to be a contender, you got to have your game. Dunk it, baby, dunk it. Take it to the rim or take your prepubescent butt home. 
Some of you will be cut today, but do not be deterred. Michael Jordan was actually cut. That's right. I'm talking about MJ on the line. You. Zach Jones. Made it. You. Stuart Spears. Cut. You. Max McCourt. Max McCourt. Made it. You. Cut. You. change it. It was your great uncle he Cecil's. Can't say his own name. It is social suicide. So you like me name? Actually, I do. Nice to meet you, Mr. Jordan. Honey, you can't just say your name is something it's not. Really? Crap, but 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 Candace's mom changes her last name all the time. You really want to change your name for good. Because I might know a place where we can go. You can change your name at the Horsey Orsi? Awesome! Oh, yeah. This is Name Change Central. You'll need this. I better go stand in line. I'm going to go talk to Sarah. Sometimes when Peggy lets me help her at work and it's just me and her, we, we eat all the ice cream. Uh-oh. Well. Which one of you is Cecil? You want to change your name, honey? Yes. All right. Well, if you will just write the new name right here on this line. Okay. Let me just type this into my super secret supercomputer. <laughs> For Pete's sake, where did you learn how to spell? And you can't put numbers in your name. Aren't they precious? So, school was crazy. I have a cool teacher who loves the magic buffer. Well, this chicken's pretty good for something out of a box. You know, I thought we were taking some time apart. It's his first day of school, Lori. I wanted to be here for it. Are you okay with that? You're confusing, Cecil. Confused? Then you are confusing your son. Confused? Confused! He's confused! I'm actually Michael Jordan. What? Say your son is so confused! Great. Here comes the waterworks. Great. You monster! <laughs> well, Michael, what do you say? You thinking what I'm thinking? Oh, yeah. Oh, you know. Rocking on the box car, busy biz is on the way. Learning on the box car, yeah, make school okay. Don't drive in there. Black into the moon, black into the sun. Educational TV is totally from the magic box car. Mr. Busy Biz, slow down, please. <laughs> Plus, guess what time it is? Field trip! Where are we going, Miss Baker? Inside your body. But if I'm here, how can we go inside me? Science fiction. Let's fix this problem so you can talk and sing. I know what you can sing. Cecil sold seashells by the seashore. What? Guys, no, 
No, no, that's not my name. Rodriguez, do not put the mulch in your mouth. That's disgusting. You're disgusting. You're so good with them. Well, it's all about the discipline. Yo, Mike, you need to show me that hook shot later. Word up. Go, MJ. You just... That sack. This whole popularity thing could really help us out. I mean, sponsorships, interviews, favors. We could own this school. That would cost, like... A thousand dollars. Quiet, Martha. It's an expression. Hey, Michael. I never got to introduce myself. I'm Chelsea. Oh, hey. I'm Abby, and this is Martha. She's the assistant, and I'm more. Do of the you want to sit with me at lunch today, Michael? Okay. Great. See you then. Holy moly, a Chelsea Walters lunch date? She's a total Betty. You get in with Chelsea Walters and Zach and all three of us, we become instantaneously popular. We've got some work to do. Cecil Stevens! Uh-oh, move, we gotta move. Code Red, Martha, I said Code Red! Cecil Stevens! Cecil Stevens! I'll post up kids on both sides of the slide. Hey, Miss Raycar. <laughs> I, um, uh, I think he went home sick today. What? Fine. <laughs> Guys, what was that about? Cecil, let's go. Miss Baker, you were looking smashing things. Anyone told you that? Oh, I thank you. <laughs> and what can I do for you today, Abby? Can't a classy lady just talk to another kind of a crazy lady? Well, I guess. So I... basically, my friend has changed his name to Michael Jordan. What? <laughs> Jordan? <laughs> yeah. Anyways, a few teachers, and I'm not trying to point any fingers. Is that right, Kurt? Seem to still be calling him by his old crappy name. <sighs> I see. The problem is that all the official names are run through the student computer database, and that is run through the principal's office. So I'm afraid if that's what your name is in there, that's what we have to call you. Thank you, Miss Baker. You know, I've really been enjoying your class. You, really? Uh, thank you, because I am so excited to be teaching Bye. it, and I, Bye! Just when everything was going great. We'll handle that later. We've got to get you ready for your lunch date. Tell her she's a good writer. Good writer? Oh, and tell her that she's a total Betty. And not like an ass if Betty, like a girl next door Betty. And make sure to tell her you love Full House. Full House. Godspeed. Such a good writer. What? Um, your writing is good? Okay, I don't really like writing. I like magazines, though. I, I think you're Betty, but not as F Betty. More like girl next door Betty. <laughs> I told you that my name's Chelsea, not Betty. Oh yeah, of course. Totally remind me of Jesse. Booyah! You did great. Phenomenal. 
in a little quiet, Martha. Hey, we're gonna go to our lockers. We'll catch up with you later. Copy that. I thought you said we didn't have time to go to our locker. <laughs> we're not going to our lockers. We're going to the principal's office. What? No way. You are so slow, Cecil. The next time the speech teacher walks into the classroom and calls your name, you'll be done. Kaput, finito. We've got to do this. Hey, is that someone ripping up the school newspaper? Please run the play. Oh, uh, what? what? Hey, break it up. I said break it up. Everybody up. Bring it in, bring it in. Gentlemen, you've got to run the plays. Just like sometimes in life, you've got to do things that you're not used to, and you've got to do them well. Even though this thing might be something that's considered against the rules, just put your faith in it, and you do it. And you'll, you'll learn that it's, it's, it's beautiful, and it can change your life forever. Yeah, let's get it on. Yeah! Whoa, yeah, right. Yeah, let's, let's go, let's go. B-team up, B-team up. Oh, what are we doing? It's an article, um, and I need somebody else to write another article. Huh? I'm in. Yes! Sorry guys, meeting's over. I'm breaking in. Let's make this quick. So, we just need to access the password database and then we should be able to do the rest in any computer in the building. Ooh, Minesweeper, let's play a game. Okay. So we just need to bypass the mainframe and the password should come up in no time. with that 20,000 you borrowed. You pay me back, or Mr. Chibbity Chomp Chomp Chimp Chomp 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 here won't be the only thing that's chomping it. <laughs> what did you buy, Boom? I'll, I'll pay you back, just leave us alone. <laughs> Let's 
Go home, my little buddy. Let's go home. Wait, it's, it's worse than I thought. Let's go, come on! We've got to go! Hercules' favorite toy. Who cares about the mascot? Come on! Michael Jordan speaking. The newspaper canceled? Why? This is major news, Michael. But there won't be any newspaper to report it. The principal, he's in some deep doo-doo. And it stinks, from what I hear. Listen, it's obvious the principal's stealing the funds, but the question is, for what? Maybe he needs a new name. Not everyone needs a new name like you, MJ. Except for Martha. And Paul Karkowski, he needs a new one. Anyways, the security of our school newspaper is at risk here. I got it! What if we sold names? You're a genius, Michael. Not that genius. We can use the principal's password to access the student database and sell everyone new names. That would be Kelly Kapowski. Sold! With the money we make, we can start our own newspaper. But I thought you had to change it at the horsey horsey. I can transfer the names when I go to work with Peggy. Okay, let's do it! <laughs> Rolling down the street in my big wheel. Time I got your key changes, keeping it real. Posted on the block, selling lemonade. No change with your order, cause I'm trying to get paid. Walkman on my head, you can tell that I'm made. Headphones sit pretty on that number three fade. Coins like Mario, I jump the best. I'm fast and you're slow like VHS. I, I don't mind. Watch your lamp before time. Bring the orange soda in, we be feeling fine. Teachers on my case, don't drop a dime. No detention ain't for me, but I don't mind. Now I'm riding the bus, now I'm riding my bike. Got a girl on my pigs and she hanging on tight. And she already knows that I'm the man. And she don't come asking who I am. What's your name? You What's your name? What, what's your name? Where do you ride and where do you sit? What's your name? What, what's your name? Where do you floss and where do you dip? What's your name? What, what's your name? What's your name? Hey, I never caught your name. Not enough. <laughs> what's your name? What, what's, what's your, your name? name? What's your name? Who you with? What's your name? What, what's your name? Where do you ride and where do you sit? What's your name? What, what's your name? Where do you floss and where do you dip? What's your name? What, what's your name? I'm not mopping the floor, I'm an entrepreneur. When it's popping for sure, you can stop in the door. When you ask me my title, I'm gonna play it on vinyl. No one's smooth on the groove, cause it's ain't a recital. Spent 10 bucks, made 50 more. Three friends coming over, playing 64. Four controllers playing golden eye. Never getting older, but been do or die. And when I grow up, you gon' know my name. No can't get my tongue, no Novocaine. No challenge to be, always overcame. No growing pains, cause we making gains. What? What's your name? You don't have to tell me. You can be anybody that you want to be. So what's it going to be? Are you going to flee? Look down inside and tell me what do you see? What's your name? What, what's your name? What's your name? What, what's your name? What's your name? What, what's your name? Bill Clinton. What's your name? What, what's your name? Could have sworn I catch the newspaper. Someone else must have paid for this. Who are you even talking to? Uh, no one. I just, uh, I'm just thinking out loud. <laughs> <laughs>
Menacingly. So it looks like we have an Abby Jennings and a Cecil Stevens. You two sure have been busy. I was going Not to... Not only have you managed to access my personal password, but I think you've managed to start quite a little business venture. That's right, food sales have been down. So, where's all the lunch money? I'm sorry, I'm crying. I, 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 I... Young go-getters like you, you sure impress me. Punishment shouldn't be the only answer to a problem like this. No, the way I see it, there's no rules broken here. As long as we can come up to an agreement. An agreement? I'll let you sell names in my school. And in return, I'm thanked with 80% of the profit. 80%? That's ridiculous. You're ridiculous if you think you have a choice. I'll give you so many attentions, you'll think the breakfast club is like daycare. 80% and nothing less. Starting tomorrow, we're gonna expand the business into the first grade, the second grade, the third grade, the whole school. Now get out there and sell me some names. Listen, this meeting of name your name has been called under dire circumstances. I told Martha on the way over. Question, I was under the impression that we were gonna have popcorn. At get your head in the game. We'll have that later. Okay. So listen, we have no option but to give Principal Bloom a cut of our money. But as long as our business expands properly, we'll have plenty of money to keep the newspaper going. So we just need to follow these instructions. The newspaper continues, the principal stays happy, and we'll at least be cool. Like ice, vanilla ice. But guys, the principal, what if, what if that Jimmy guy come for? Us. Stop scaring Martha. We just need to play ball and keep the newspaper going. We haven't been this cool since. Never. We've been cool, Martha. We just, listen, I think I'm on to my next story. I think the principal did something horrible to Hercules. No, our little pooch mascot. What, where'd you get that? Listen. We can't let the principal know we're on to him. We can't tell a soul. Let's make some chatter. Ching 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 hundred dollars uh, no way can't do it nope I'm Michael Jordan but he's offering 500 bones our newspaper needs this yeah Michael walk with me to class hey baby one second hey 
Baby, listen, soon enough you'll be so popular that you won't even we need me. You're not telling my name to Zach. Chelsea might break up with me. Yeah, but there are plenty of other names. Sure, Chelsea likes the name Michael, but there are plenty of other girls. Yeah, like Abby. Yeah, wait. Martha? Nothing. I mean, I'm sorry, Abby. Ow. I can fix this. MJ, let's go. I'm sorry, Abby. I got to go. The samurai would train and learn, practicing the art of extreme discipline. So, when it was time for them to go into battle, they were ready. Abby likes you. She's such a weirdo, and none of us really like her. She's no weirdo. Do you like her or something? Yes! I mean, no. She's my friend. Oh, uh, most honorable Principal Bloom. Uh, how may we serve you? I need to see Mr. Michael. Jordan and <laughs> Abby. Well, maybe you two should just go out then. What? No. I'm sorry. Now! Little Marvel has so kindly informed me that we have a $500 offer for the name Michael Jordan, but someone won't give up the name. I can't. I'm Michael Jordan. No, you're not. Yes, I am. No, you're not. Yes, I am. Uh-uh. 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 You can still be popular with another name. We by chance met Chandler. He was popular once. Until he crossed me. Who do you think got Zach to shoot the spit wad in his ear, huh? What? He couldn't... Quiet, Martha. Now, Cecil, give up the name. I'll ruin you forever. How does that sound? My money! Oh! Ah! Oh, that slipped. That slipped. Time out. Time out. Guys, let's get in here. Let's get in here. Come on, come on. Listen, boys. You're not playing the ball game you came here to play. You have to make a decision when you get out on that court. Am I going to be the winner that takes this win? Am I ready to be the person that I've always wanted to be? Or do you want to sit around like your old great aunt who can't really walk anymore, who can't play the game, who has arthritis, who's basically given up? Is that who you want to be? Now get out there and show these punks who you are, who you came here to be. Get in here. One, two, three, bad dogs! Bring it down and give the ball to me. I'm not giving you anything! I should be Michael Jordan. You're a disgrace. Michael! We need to talk. I gotta go. Michael, I didn't think Martha would. This would have never happened if we didn't have to save your stupid newspaper. Stupid? Michael, I just wanted you to like me. Hey, how did it go? We lost. Lost? Well, that's okay. It's a boys' night out. We'll have a good time. Where's Mom? Oh, she is being so unfair. 
She acts like she's the only one that raised you. Dad, there's this girl in school, and I think I like her. What? Yeah, Lori, I remember I told you about the game on the 15th. It's the 15th. The 15th. It's the 15th. Yeah, today's the 15th, yeah. No, I'm not driving all the way back there. No, we're going to go to a hotel. Sorry, Cecil. What? It's Michael. You, yeah, you think I'm happy about this? I'm not happy about this either, Lori. You think that I'm happy that I have to come drive and see my son? Hello, mate. What's your name? Michael Jordan. So what's with a long face? Well, don't tell anybody, but my name wasn't always Michael Jordan. Go on. My old name was Cecil Steven. You sound like you're talking with a man for the toffee. One more time. Cecil Steven. Anyways, this guy won my harder name, but if I give it to him, I might lose this girl that I'm going out with. But if I don't, I might lose everything else. I'll tell you what to do. Get a stinky sock. One that you've worn for about three weeks. A really stinky sock. And you take it, right? And you Did stuff it. Did you say it. stinky sock? Good my advice to you is to listen to an American. I've been here for three years. Oh, but it's just it for three years. Every single of it. It's this way all the time. I speak English, you're speaking English. At least I did. That's what I'm doing here. You're the one who don't want to take care of I'm trying to be a good father. Miss Baker, where are we? Beats me. But let's try the intestine expression. <laughs> Whoa, Looks like we got ourselves into quite a pickle. Let's assess the damage. Looks like the crash caused a leak in the oxygen tank, kids. Ah! Way to go, Cecil. This is the worst field trip ever. And I can make it worse. <laughs> I can make it much, much worse. Sell the name, Cecil. Sell the name. Give me my money. Sell the name and give me my money. <laughs> I told you one last time, sell the name. Then you sold your fate. Wait, actually, his parents legally changed his name to Michael Jordan, and if um, he sells the name, then people might come poking around, and I think we both know that they won't like what they find. You're bluffing. Call his parents if you don't believe me. Fine. Hello, this is Principal Bloom. Hello. Is Cecil's mother there? Oh, you must be looking for Michael's mother. Are you kidding me? Excuse me, who is this? Is this that bill collector? Because I can tell you exactly where to put your bill. Do you think I'm joking? Just leave me alone. We need the money. You're selling the name. You can't make him. I can do whatever I want. I'm the principal. Now you, get out! Sit there one second longer, young lady, and I'll ban newspapers from this school forever! Get out! Now, Lethal Stevens, you think your name's gonna save you from being unpopular? Well, let me see if I can sway your opinion. Hello, students of Smith Elementary. Today, we're gonna have our elite student, Michael Jordan, read what we're gonna have for lunch. Get ready, cause it sounds delicious. Today is Wednesday, and for lunch we have a 
super special spectacular serving in store for you. The first course is extra delicious. It's sweet, savory sausage with a side of salad. And don't skip our brownie surprise for dessert. Steady your rifles. The target hasn't retreated yet. Guys, it's me. It's Michael. He's retreating. Victory is ours. You were someone you aren't. It's a kitty kid were about there, Cecil. Ah, I'm hit. Ah. And if you want to hang out with them still, maybe you should just leave me and Marco alone. I'm going out. Don't do it. Suicide. You are not taking him to some sleazy hotel, Tim. Well, where am I supposed to take him, Lori? And for your information, the Lonely Heart Inn happens to be a pillar of the community. <laughs> oh, now I've heard everything. No, he is staying here. Oh, he's coming with me. No, he is my son. What is he, the product of a mech conception? Okay, fine. You know what? If you're going to act like that, take him. Take him. Go with your father, Cecil. No. no, I'm not falling for your drama. No, no, no. You keep him. Stay with your mom. Go with your father, Cecil. You were the only one who was really being nice to me. Do you want to help me finish my last story? Over. Duh. Over. Then meet me outside in five minutes. I've got a top secret mission. Over. What's the mission? Over. The principal? The $20,000? Our mascot, Hercules? I'll fill you in on the way. Over. Were you finished? Over? Yeah, I said I'll fill you in on the way over. On the way over? Over? Dang it, Michael. Are you up for the mission or not? Over. Yeah. Over and out.
This is it. You sure you're ready? This should take us to the ventilation system. It only takes one bite, and then you'll poop your pants. <laughs> Jimmy, no. I'll get you in the It's okay. He's just sleep talking. in the bathroom. I mean, who talks on the phone in the bathroom? Wait, I know, Tim. I, I know. Just tell Cecil I said goodnight, okay? No. No, he is definitely with you. I told him to go with you. He's probably confused. Well, he probably is. Oh, bring it! <laughs> I might have expected it from you, Abby, but Cecil and you two. I'm just glad you're okay. Me too. And don't think that because you're not dead, that you're not in trouble. Oh my God, you could have died, my baby. Oh, my sweet That's right. Boy. And whose fault would that have been? I think a couple of people need to go to their rooms and think about what they've done. Yes. Nope. You two need to think long and hard about your priorities. Some of you have neglected to give 
learning a chant. You would rather be cool than study your school. But if you want to reach the stars, you have to not care about what your friends think of your name. <gasps> or oxygen. Martha, come in. It's down. You sold the name to Zack? How could you? <laughs> he made me. He forced me. <laughs> he also gave me lots of candy. You can leave now. Now, Zack is the new Michael Jordan, and well, that leaves you. <laughs> you'll sit in the front of the bus, and you'll hold your head low, and it won't be that bad unless you have to read the morning announcements every day. <laughs> or, uh, yeah, or if everyone figures out that you sold them false names. <laughs> you see this money? This money? I'm betting it on your game tonight. I'm betting that you're gonna lose, and I know that. And you know why I know that, Cecil? I know that because you're gonna make them lose. <laughs> or things are gonna get real, real bad for you, Cecil. <laughs> no. Lose the game, Cecil, and maybe, just maybe, I'll let you pick a new name. <laughs> Heck, I'll even take you to the horsey horsey myself. <laughs> Why do you think Mom and Dad named me Cecil? Because they liked it, I suppose. What they're like. You know, a lot of really cool people have been named Cecil. Yeah, right. Like who? Well, there was uh, Cecil Cooper, the all-star baseball player, and Cecil B. DeMille, the famous filmmaker, and uh, Cecil Schwarzenegger, the strongest man alive. Really? Yeah. I mean, I'm sure they didn't like their names at first either, but they figured it out. I bet they could pronounce their names. Oh, it looks like you've got a visitor. Whoa. Oh, you know why it's here? Yeah, Peggy told me. I have to come to work with her. Sounds like more of a vacation than a punishment to me, though. Yeah, I guess. I want to show you something. Thanks! Peggy told me you might need some cheering up. Mac and cheese is my favorite! Do you know that besides Martha, you're the only friend I've had since second grade? I, I used to be friends with everybody until one day they all started being really mean to Martha. I told her I would always be her friend because I knew she didn't have any then Chelsea and Zach and everyone started calling me glasses. But when I met you, I didn't care if I had any other friends. Um, you know, I was, um, I was watching Blossom earlier and I was thinking, holy crap. You're supposed to close your eyes.
Oh, for Pete's sake, it's not that bad. I guess it wasn't that bad. Yeah. So have you finished your story? Almost. It might be my last, but it will definitely be a page turner. And make us popular? Maybe, maybe not. Oh, kids, the chances of us making it out of this field trip are slim. The oxygen tank is almost spanked. This is all Faithful's fault. Oh, man. I've got it. If Cecil learns to say the right mouth movement, then the wind will propel us out in a jiffy. I sure hope it doesn't have any S sounds in it. He just has to say his true name. Michael Jordan? I know your name's not Michael. Uh, <coughs> Hurry, Cecil. <coughs> Just say it. <coughs> Please. <coughs> uh, no, I can't. Hurry, uh, Cecil. No. <coughs> uh. <sighs> Some of you have neglected to give learning a chance. The samurai would train and learn. So, when it was time for them to go into battle, they were ready. Cecil. Just like sometimes in life, you've got to do <laughs> things that you're not used to, and you've got to do them well. You'll learn that it's it's beautiful, Cecil. and it can, it, can, it can change your life forever. Tito! 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 Better be right, Bloom. You're getting a knuckle sandwich. Extra knuckles. If he loses this game, you double your money, and we're square. You're slipping, Bloom. You're slipping. Sometimes you come to the end of a rope. Begin to realize that things maybe aren't exactly what you thought they were. But guess what? We gotta put that behind us. We gotta get over it. There are plenty of ropes in the sea. And when you find one of those new ropes, do you know what you have to do? You have to dunk the crap out of it. <laughs> Michael. Yeah? No, no, wait, Michael. I'm Michael, my name's Michael. I bought it fair and square. Cut the crap, Zach. MJ, you got this, you know what to do. I've talked about it every single day in practice. I know Michael Jordan, I can't. Hey, don't be like my sick aunt. Just get out there and do it. We've got your back, no matter who you are. One, One two, two, three, Magic!
That's it, Bloom. You're coming with me. No. Bloom. 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 But I mean, Bloom. Woo! That's enough. Sit down. Sit down. You're going to pay, Cecil. Our star player has something to say. He and his little girlfriend, they hacked into the school computer system. You all have the same names you did at the beginning of the school year. What? No. No. Michael Jordan would not do that to us. No, I'm Michael, not that chump. I'm confused. Tell everyone. Look, guys, the names we sold, all of you, they are real. They don't count. And? I, I was forced to sell you all names by that man, <laughs> Jimmy McCracken. I can't believe it. Guard, arrest him. OK, but you're coming too. Easy, champ. He made me do it! He owes me 20 large! <laughs> oh, I got this! <laughs> Boom! Yes! My hero. <laughs> Great job, Dallas. Thanks. I'm her brother, John. Brother? Oh. Hey! <laughs> Hercules! 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 I thought he had been stopped! Nope. I found him in the principal's house. I was just about to stuff him. He would have made a better table piece. That mutt deserves to be stuffed. Uh, how's that for stuffing? Okay, truce. For now. Well, clearly. Dude, if we could, I'd totally let you be Michael Jordan. He doesn't need to be Michael Jordan. He's already cool, because we're going out. Er, wrong. He's not your boyfriend, and he's cool in general. As if. Quiet, Chelsea. <laughs> Look, guys, I think we all need to stop worrying about being cooler than each other. I think we're all a little weird, but I also think we're all a little cool. Oh, oh, Jimmy. Wait. On me. This meeting of Smith Elementary News Team has been caught under. I can't wait. Do you guys know what a news team does after they finish covering a big story? Celebrate. Eat popcorn. Laser tag. We move on. We've got standards here, people. Now it's time for our next story. How about? Hercules the mascot, escape slavery, cures cancer. How about boy plays video games for 40 hours straight? How about stuff that's actually happening? Haven't you ever wondered why our speech teacher, the one in charge of helping us talk better, has an English accent? Oh, I guess I never thought of it. Me either. I think we all noticed Miss Rykart getting fresh with Jimmy at the game, and it turns out They've been in cahoots this whole time. The whole staff knew that Principal Bloom was going to get fired, and next in the seniority line was her. But what about Miss Baker and, and Coach Dowd? That's the worst part. They seem to be the only two who aren't in on it, which means they're going to get rid of them. Are going to kill them? No, they're going to get them both fired. And then they'll have nothing standing in their way. Our school, our newspaper, it'll all be done. Unless 
I don't like where this is going. I do. Unless what? Unless we stop all of them. We're going to need a bigger brownie. Writer, Abby Jennings, <laughs> signing out. Good night and good luck. See so. See so. See so. See so. See so. to get paid. Walkman on my head, you can tell that I'm made. Headphones sit pretty on that number three fade. Coins like Mario, I jump the best. I'm fast and you're slow like VHS. I, I don't mind. Watch your lamp before time. Bring the horn so the end will be feeling fine. Teachers on my case don't drop a dime. No detention ain't for me, but I don't mind. Now I'm riding the bus and now I'm riding my bike. Got a girl on my pigs and she's hanging on tight. And she already knows that I'm the man. And she don't come asking